we, we have a big push right now in our company to go all digital. So we're designing digitally. We pass our digital designs to an analysis group and they analyze everything digitally. And then when, when we're happy with the designs, we can actually send it to a, a 3D printer and print it straight from the model file. And so that's the direction we're trying to go in in the future is, is still use traditional manufacturing like milling and CNCing and lathing and all that stuff, but also injecting 3D printing wherever we can, wherever it's, it's a good application to do it. So there, there's a lot of room to grow for 3D printing and it's gonna be very exciting in the next you know, five, 10 years. Yeah, so this machine, it's called a MakerBot Replicator 2. And we have actually rolled out a lot of these around the office to our designers. And it's, it's to allow them to, to design in a, in a 3D space their, their models, their concepts. And it's kind of hard to, to visualize sometimes in a 3D space. So what we do is we send those files over to the printer and we can print it out. And you can hold it in your hand. You can, you can turn it around and look at it and say, this is going to work. This is not going to work. Maybe we should go in this direction. And so we use these machines to, to design very quickly. So we'll, we'll come out with a design, we'll print it out, we'll look at it, we'll say we could do this better, and then we keep doing that process until we have something that we like. And eventually we'll, we move on to uh, metal printing parts for actual flight and space applications. So this is just a, an example of a metal part. So this is a, what's called a planetary gear set. And these actually, all these gears spin around this central gear. And there is actually no way you would be able to make this planetary gear set because these are helical gears uh, by a traditional manufacturing method. So you could only print something like this. And so that's the cool thing about being a designer and, and having all these 3D printing applications come up is that we get to figure out how to, how to put 3D printing into our designs and design for this, this what we call additive manufacturing is the technical term. So it's a very exciting time. There's a lot of different types of engineering and, and the role I'm in is a mechanical designer. And the thing I love about that is being, being creative. So our customers will come to us and they'll say, we have this need, we need have these requirements that need to be fulfilled. And they basically say, do it however you think is best. And so I have the responsibility of, of concept design and, and going through these rapid iterations and figuring out what I would like to do and how I would like to satisfy the customer's needs best. So I get a lot of free reign and, and I also get to work with a lot of great people. So it's, it's a dream job.